day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Rogue Legacy with our current Say Useless. Now, I'm recording this episode before the last episode has even been edited, yet alone come out. So, you could, so if you've said something in the last episode, don't expect me to acknowledge it this episode. Maybe the next one. Depending on when I record the next one. I enjoy this game a lot. So what we need is to be get this ranger helm. Probably. Forgot we gathered another one of those. But first things first. So Useless is going to lock down the fortress. And prove himself a worthy by going and killing Alexander. I say useless, as nicknamed by my peers, shall prove to them that I am in fact not useless. I shall prove that I am greater than them. Curse rune for the sword! Oh, what a glorious leap bad. No! I got a rune! Well, I mean, at least he counters as determined rather than just being a useless hockeridge, like his name would suggest. I am Lady Priscilla, first of my name. And I seek to destroy the evil thing, for I am the one, apparently. I shall prove myself worthy of this entire dungeon by murdering all that think they can fight me. Now, why didn't I lock the dungeon like my forefathers, you might ask? Well, the answer is very simple. I get less gold when I beat the boss if, I, if the place is locked, for obvious reasons. So clearly, I don't want to lock it. I just want to go and head out and destroy it by myself. What is that? A mine of some sort? No, thank you. I like my axe. I have a lot of gather to go to gold to gather for my kin so that they then may, so that they may no we're not going to the underbelly I am heading out I will save my kin gather gold for my kin come ghost you are no match for Lady Priscilla first of her name but hopefully not last, if I so prove myself worthy today. Draining so much health after every kill is most certainly useful. And what with the Santa Claus in the background? I shall prove myself worthy for my clan. Aha! I have found him! The one known as Alexander! I have gathered much gold, and I am at full strength. I, Lady Priscilla, shall show you my might, Alexander. Come! Fight me! I do auto-kill all of his minions! I 
I'm Lady Priscilla, and you die to me, Alexander. I am the great Lady Priscilla, and you fall to me. Magic damage increased by one, MP increased by five, HP increased by five. <laughs> I am Lady Priscilla. And you are a loser. I am the le I have earned my name and legacy. I am Lady Priscilla, the Great. I defeated the legendary Alexander. The one who killed much of our kin. No! Slain by a pitiful scale. I am Sir Hornsby. Something the second of my name. My lovely mother, who somehow gave birth to me despite being so small when I am so big. Slayed the legendary beast in this place. I am honored to be one of her kin. However, we are now at the problem that now we must land into the mire. And many bad things have always happened to my kin in the mire. But they won't happen to me, for I am Sir Hornsby, and I am POWERFUL! Hello there, puny elf thing! I give you chance! I get money! Ha ha! You lose, puny elf! Like so many of my kin that fell to your traps! I, Sir Hornsby, prove myself better than them too! Come forth at me, puny enemies! Sir Hornsby shall prove why he is best! I, Sir Hornsby, am better than any and every beast that may come before me! Puny beast, you think you, your pitiful effort hurt for Sir Hornsby? No. Well, I have no purpose of being in this land anyway. My great mother cleared out the garden for us, so I do my just part and clear out the my... Well, this is unexpected. Silver limbs! Uh, I, Sir Hornsby, have recovered an ancient relic for my kin. <laughs> I may not hit the hardest, but you will certainly know that you can't hit me, and, or at least for me to care that you hit me. I, Sir Hornsby, it is now time for me to leave. I have explored my mother's conquered region too much now. Back to my own place, for I shall be the first to conquer the mire. Come, face Sir Hornsby, puny creatures. I, Sir Hornsby, am the greatest ever known. No pitiful creature stands before Sir Hornsby. Ow! Come, face Sir Hornsby. Sir Hornsby may not be known for his intelligence, but he most certainly is known for his might. For his might is quite right. Defeat all enemies, it says. 
I, Sir Hornsby, shall prove this an easy task. Ha ha ha! I, Sir Hornsby, have discovered the Sky Rune. All shall know the greatness of Sir Hornsby. Hmm. Sir Hornsby's power wanes. But Sir Hornsby has recovered the Ranger Chest. He's recovered the Silver Limbs and now the Ranger Chest. Glory be to Sir Hornsby. As he now meets his end. You have discovered the lost art of the dragons. Though you cannot jump, you have unlimited flight and can cast for, for, forth powerful fireballs at your foes. I, Sir Wilco, should have probably looked at the at those things before doing them. And what was my new rune? Grain the power of flight. Multiple runes stack for longer duration. Interesting. However, I do already quite like my current scenario. So for now, I go forth. I shall go and kill. I have power to obtain. In order to gain proper power, I must make sure to murder everything over in this part of the dungeon. It's the only way to confirm that I've made sure I've killed everything. And we can do it by listening some, to some good music too. What do we have here? My great ancestors have left me a message. Journal Entry 15. I remember being a famous adventurer. My martial prowess surpassed all of my brothers, that I am sure. While they spent their days buried in their bookish studies, I was out killing brigands and monsters. I always wondered why my father favoured them over me. Isn't it always the opposite in fairy tales? Fortune favours the bold, not the incipited intellectual, or something like that. Man, I would love to see my brothers try to outthink my sword in their face. Don't underestimate the power of thought, my fallen ancestor. My health dwindles. My power alongside it. I must ready my power, ready for the Maya. If I wish to fight the Maya, I must be at full strength. Another bit of lore for me. Interesting. Journal entry 16. What if years have passed since I first entered these walls? It, it, it is true that I am becoming more proficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like an age has passed. I have even forgotten what my own kin looks like. What if they ha think I have failed? What if one of my brothers has beaten me to the kill? And what if I f mistook them for a monster? Interesting. Sounds like quite the conundrum there. Always clear out the castle grounds as a lich. That way you can gain maximum power. I, Sir Wilco Wilco. I. We are the most powerful of the liches, and that could only be proven even more true as we go forth and gather more power from Matt from murdering our foes. Health increased by five. Ooh, very nice. Now that was a, a prize I was not expecting to find. Thank you, pitiful little chest. Ah, my health has reached its peak. Meaning it's time to succumb and trade it out. 
for more magic. The place is almost cleared. There's not much left to see. Let me guess. I am wrong. It doesn't take me to the undergrowth yet. This dungeon proves itself quite large and fair. But one must wonder what can pos- how much further can possibly lay within. Especially as I have now found the underground. There is but one way left to travel. Up. And upon this travel, I do so severely hope I seek what it is that I find. More power. It tells me to defeat all enemies. I could not ask for more. I have recovered a retaliation room, like that which finds itself upon our braces. Or our cape, I can't remember which. I have reached maximum mana. I am at maximum health. I have reached maximum power. Oh my, it's a big fancy picture. It thinks it can fight me. Ha 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 ha. We have shown it the error of its ways. Excellent. We are ready. We are fully empowered. And in the first room, I have managed to lose half my health. What a good start. It sounded like there was many an angry mimic. There is very little energy left within me. I have recovered nothing for my kid. Ah, but looky here. Now we see something special. But first, I can travel to each portal and gain the health from there. This is why we explore, boys and girls. So that we can find every place where the health lies. So that once we need it, right at the boss, we can go back and gather it. I'm good. I seek to find the creature. To what do I owe the pleasure? Ponce de Leon. You leave behind tons of crap. I am Lord Andrew. Second of my name. And Charon, I wish to pass. Come forth, Maya. I fear thee not. You cannot face the might of Lord Andak. My manner remains not the highest. But it matters not. When it is unlimited. Your simple treasure chest cannot hide its... Its treasures from me. You are a monster. And I have the one to slay you, monster! A lovely golden chest, which contained a bunch of crap, other than gold. Only gold, really? Well, at least I managed to get over without taking damage. Ah, I have found the mire. Then I suppose it is a good chance 
to start exploring it. I need a serious increase in my health, they think. Or not so much my health, as much as my power. No. I am the greatest mage there is. I have but three health remaining. I have found the end. I find myself at a blessing point, but unable to fight the boss that it that it inquires. I lack any power to fight what lies behind those doors. Even from gathering at all the food, there is naught that I can do. But I, Lord Andek, shall know no fear and shall try nonetheless I am Lady Pudura, I think, and I shall continue my father's legacy in the spell sword line and destroy as much as I can within this place. I honestly find it doubtful my capability at ending this torment. However, I will not let it stop me. Take no damage it requests. I do not think myself capable of such a of a goal. My spells possess a mighty power. Defeat all the enemies. Hmm. I do not possess the spell required for such a feat. Hello. I have found the end. I have found the creature that slayed my mother and my mother's mother. No! Blasted painter! I am Sir Club, and despite being called Sir Club, I use a sword, even if I do hit it as if it's a club. I don't aim, I swing. For I am Sir Club, and Sir Club says, You die! Die, pitiful creature. Die to Sir Club. Aha! A bunch of enemies. They all fall to Sir Club. For Sir Club is mighty. Sir Club kill near all things that come before Sir Club. Sir Club has never had a challenge he could not defeat before through sheer muscle mass. Ouch. Sir Club defeats your puny challenge and obtains bounty rune. And even on escape, Sir Club take no damage. You are puny before Sir Club. Sir Club see no way to do that. Sir Club has one rune. Sir Club has name made his name within line. For obtaining special artifact. Even if Sir Club no normally like 
come from line where rune no longer has same meaning as it did what once did for generations. So Klopp must wonder though, as to where it is he is meant to be going with his mighty club. Yes, it's a club. I don't care if it's sharp. So club uses club. It's just a sharp club. So club uses sharp club because sharp club is better than blunt club. Silly people not realizing sharp club. Not realizing power of sharp club. Time has come for Sir Club to prove his club! As he now enters the mire. Simple Hulk guards think they can stop Sir Club with puny shields? Ha! You fall to Sir Club and his mighty intellect to know to get behind man with club. Or shield. To get behind man with shield. Oh club. Same result either way. No. Bad puppy. You no face Sir Club today. Sir Club see problem with next challenge. Problem being chest in room where Sir Club cannot reach. Specifies defeat all enemies. Sir Club! I am Sir Octave. And unlike many barbarian kings before me, I will not speak in the third person. I'm not an idiot. I have self-awareness. So, what is my goal today? Well, I am going to defeat that mighty enemy in the mire. What makes me so sure I can defeat such a creature? Well, it leaves... From what my ancestors have left in records, it leaves a bunch of crap on the round... floating around the place. However, that crap cannot face the power that is my mighty voice. I, Sir Octave, shall prove myself worthy to my ancestors, as many of them have tried to do before them. I shall prove myself to Lady Annabelle, first of her name, and Lady and I think it was a lady. The one who slayed Alexander. And in my processing of doing so, I shall prove I am not an idiot like many barbarian kings before me, but instead just a misunderstood individual. Come, face me, puppy. Ha! No match for Sir Octave! Hmm, that's even bad. Oh, that's uh, that equally so. What do I have here? Silver Sword! Puny ninja thing. You fall to Sir Octave! And I have recovered a mighty new weapon for my lineage. If anything was needed to grant us more power than we possess, it was that. Now pray! What is it that I find? Helio's Blessing! I have no idea what it that does. Though I may not even see the... the creature in question. I have already proven my worth to thy clan. With my dutiful duty in recovering as a new ancient blade. Ha-ha! Sir Octave has located the, the lair of the beast. And now Sir Octave must recover himself. For a Sir o or if I am to recover to defeat the ancient enemy, 
I must be at the best strength I can muster. Come! Leon Leonker, or whatever the hell your name is. Ponce de Leon, the Sentinel. There is no need for dashing around! <sighs> A new mighty sword for me and my lineage! But I need to upgrade my carry weight first. There we go. A new mighty sword gathered to fr for me by my father. Oh, he has done us all proud. Never have we been more proud to serve with him. But there is not left for me to upgrade. But that is what I am here for. For I am Sir Taco. Second of my name. And I give up my life of tacos in order to face the monsters at our door. So that my lineage can face them themselves. EHP, platform stay open. Nice! And I'm not affected by puny spike traps. I am Sir Taco. And I have recovered knowledge. Not usually the thing I want to recover though. I normally much prefer stuff. Journal entry 17. I must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival in this castle, com complete with a sad clown and everything. He saw of an ass. But I guess you can't be picky with your friends in a place like this. I'm getting hungry again. Good thing I topped up on chicken legs. I found these in the chandelier. This castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's just a big joke. Yeah. It always seems that way. Especially when you leave a diary entry immediately after the first. Journal entry 18. I have bested the beast of the tower, and once again I could feel the throne room give up some of its power. The rush I feel from its victory is intoxicating. Never have I felt so confident, so powerful, so at home. Just a little further and I'll be able to earn my reward. I'm so close. I will make my father proud. Is that not like literally what every one of our lineage has ever said? I have recovered a rune! A siphon rune for the sword! <laughs> I am a relic hunter after all. However... Oh, nope, never mind. Well, crap. That hurt a lot. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Well, to be fair, these things at the start here are very pitiful. That even I, a man like I, can just, you know, kill them instantly. Almost makes you wonder why they even exist. Well, I mean, these things don't affect me, so I just need to run across. Thanks for the gold, sucker! <laughs> ah, food, lovely food. I do love it so. Where? What other things am I trying to find? Apparently there's something special up here. Ish. Oh. Well. Um. I definitely feel as though I don't belong here. But when there's treasure afoot, if there's treasure involved, beggars can't be. You're joking. That's gonna be a big fat no from me. You know, sometimes there are some real advantages involved when you. When you've got so little pulse that the the damn things can't detect you. I'm not designed for combat like this. Not in the slightest. But 
Sometimes skill gets you everywhere. <sighs> I give it all credit to this mighty sword that my daddy found for me. So I guess the question is... Um, I don't think so. I much think I'm better off going over here, because this is where the boss lays and finding some ranger limbs. See, I am capable of finding things. Including this thing. A ranger sword. Ha! Daddy, I am better than you. You found a, a miserable silver sword. I found a mighty ranger sword. You know, one has to give credit to the idiocy of these creatures. I mean, these little spike things I don't blame. They're only traps after all, but... And what they also don't know is how to attack below them. Or properly turn around, I suppose. I like these things. Sometimes they're so easy to just murder. Oh, for Christ's sake! Another one of these? I can't touch them! You're on! I hate... I still got three grand. I don't care! You know, having no pulse is very useful. Just as being electric electrically charged. I am a miner, mimic. Oh crap. You think I am so pathetic as to not realize one of your kind? The dog, however, a little more concerning. You know? I'm starting to get the feeling I should just quite plain and clearly. Oh, that was close. First up, heal up. Ah, uh, nice. Then, just head over to these areas. There's so much more to be found. And also to heal off of. Because these things are easy. According to my map, there is many a treasure chest in these directions. And many a treasure chest means many an opportunity for more things. Or maybe it's just another journal. Beggars can't be choosers. Journal number 18. I have been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I dare admit. My courage is finally sapped, for I've spied the monsters below, and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steel myself. I must focus. There is so little light down there. I fear that I may lose myself. Luckily, I have a torch! Puny wolf, you stand in the way of this rune! Sky rune for the sword! Many a rune for me. So much gold, but no relics. Man, is it so hard to set, to gather a relic recipe for like your, from for the old blacksmith we have in our place? I mean, he's worked so hard over the many generations he worked with us. Maybe it's less so the chests I should chase after, and more so. Question marks, the secret areas. I will claim my chest! You can't stop me! There's not many chests left. Which I suppose is a good thing, because it means I've collected them all. But once they're all gone, I don't have many options left for what I can for where I can go. I'm not a brave man. I'm not exactly willing to go and fight the big giant monsters that are door. Another chest! Just so much gold! This is more money than I could ever make of made selling tacos! Oh come now, are you really surprised that I used to sell tacos? I'm called Taco! A 
a shrine! Pray! What is it you find? Helio's blessing! I have no idea what that's meant to do for me. Ah, there's a special place over here. Whatever will it hide? A painting. An ordinary painting. Well, that's boring. There's a fairy chest in this direction. But apparently... I don't get it from here. That's weird, but okay. Whoa, I almost fell into that! I, the Great Sotako! The legendary mother money gatherer! Show me my prize! A silver cape! What the bloody hell is that meant to do? I bear witness to the fact there is very little left in this place. And because of that, I believe I should... Go and fight a mighty being! I don't know why I'm feeling the need for heroism. I died with honor. My father managed to gather us three different things. The silver cape has a siphon rune attached, meaning it's lifesteal without the negatives that the black vampire cape has always given us. We also have a siphon rune. Oh! That's balance rune. Oh, that's different. Ha. Huh. I don't need mana, I'm a spell sword. So I will take the regular blade. You know, in a moment. There we go. I will take the legendary ranger blade that my father summoned. You know, even though I don't use blades and I summon them out of the th fabric of existence. Anyway, it looks like this is a good time to stop because this has gone on way too long. So everyone, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.